and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we're going to be doing a Sephora Play unboxing. I know it's a little late and I actually have had this box for maybe a week now, but there are some other videos I wanted to go ahead and put out first. And it has just been so crazy. I've had so many things going on with my daughter doing like dance auditions and my son had a really amazing chorus performance. So I have just been busy, busy, busy. But before we get started, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Um, I post videos every Monday and Friday. Every once in a while, I will post a surprise video. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and those are definitely linked down below. So let's go ahead and get started. Bam. <laughs> All right. So it says April 2018. This month is for Insta Beauty. So the bag, bag's okay. not a very fun one. It says, make it snappy. So, I mean, I, I totally get it. Insta Beauty, hurry up, get ready fast. Um, also, I do want to say, yeah, my makeup is not done at all. So you're going to have to bear with me for just a little bit because whatever is in this bad boy, I do hope to try on camera. So let's hope it's a good one. Okay, so the first thing I want to try and grab out of here is a perfume sample. Um, bless you. Oh, that was my kitty cat. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, this is not the perfume. <laughs> this is Dr. Dennis Gross. Uh, fight wrinkles while you sleep. This is the wrinkle recovery peel. Okay, fight wrinkles while you sleep and wake up to better skin, it says. And then it shows a before and after. But the after shows 14 days. Um, I'm pretty sure this is not a 14 days worth of samples. One treatment. Two treatments. Okay, so they sent me two treatments, but I won't be able to see any results till after 14 days. So, hmm... I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I'm going to come back to that because that kind of defeats the purpose of trying the product if I'm not going to be able to see what it does. All right. So we're going to go back into the bag. Ah, perf Nope. Still not the perfume sample. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So this is from Buxom, which I love Buxom so much. This is Pump Up the Volume Full On Plumping Lip Polish. Yay. And this is in the color Celeste. So it's a very tiny sample, but it's really, really pretty. So there's my sample right there. And that's how tiny, <laughs> that's how tiny it is. All right, but I do wanna see what color it looks like. I know I'm gonna try it on later, but I just wanna see, gotta see. Ooh, that's pretty. Can you see? Kind of shimmery gloss. Nice. All right, so let's go back into the bag. And we have Philosophy. I love Philosophy brand. Um, I did recommend their face wash. Um, it's the all-in-one face wash. Love that stuff. Um, this is the Ultra Light Moisturizer. So I am a big fan of the brand, so I'm happy to have the moisturizer. And so tiny. Oh my goodness. It's my, it's smaller than the palm of my hand. Ugh. Oh my gosh, such small samples. Okay, ultra light moisturizer with vitamins, antioxidants, and natural oils. I wonder what this hmm, smells okay all right but let's just go ahead and move on the next item we have what is this this is from kales um, this is a powerful strength line reducing concentrate hello I actually I'm kind of excited about this because I do have a lot of lines up in this area um, so I will be excited to try this out and see how that works so that means we have one item left and this is the 
Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector Blurring Skin Tint with Sunscreen. Um, and this is in the color six. We will see if this matches my skin tone or not. Ooh, that is a small sample size. So, let's see. All right, so that's the shade right there. I did not mean to pull that much out. It just kind of all come came like out really, really fast. Um, that is really dark. Oh my gosh. Look at the difference in my skin. Ugh. Color matching myself is like really, really hard to do. And this is not gonna work. But you know what? We're gonna try it anyway, even if I'm going to look like an Oompa Loompa. All right, let's do this. I don't have much makeup to play with, um, just a gloss and a skin tint, but we will still try it on and I will see what I think about it. Okay, so my skin is actually really dry. Well, I would say it's more normal to dry. I have been using my um, Sunday Riley and my skin has gotten a lot more to the normal side versus the dry side so this is some good stuff but um i do want to go ahead and try this moisturizer on with you guys um i want to try as many products as possible i won't be able to try the peel or this thing yet so that only leaves three other products so we're going to do the moisturizer um it smells, it smells okay. It kind of smells like their wash, uh, their face wash, which I was hoping it would smell a little bit different. Not that it smells bad, because I do like the, the face wash. So that actually feels really good. Felt like my skin is not sticky, but... I don't know, maybe I just need time to let it sit for a minute. While I'm letting it do that, I'm actually going to do my eyes real fast and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So my face did not end up feeling sticky after that moisturizer from Philosophy. Um, so I'm really, really happy with that. My skin actually felt really nice and hydrated um, and I like it. <laughs> so I'm glad that it was in the box. Now we are going to get to, oh my gosh, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector Skin Tint in shade six, which obviously is way too dark for me. I don't even know how they came up with that. Usually I'm like maybe third or fourth down the row as far as um, colors go for foundations. Um, but it's hard to match me anyway because not only am I a light skin tone, I am very olive. I'm very yellow undertone. Um, so I don't have many foundations that have a match for me. Um, small story, I heard such great things about the Lancome um, foundation. I wanted to try it so bad. I ordered it online it was not the right shade for me it was definitely too light so I went ahead and I I tested it out anyway the coverage was beautiful so I took it in store we tried like five different ones from the one that I had gotten and none of them worked for me they were either too dark or too pink um, so that is just a foundation that I am not able to wear which kind of sucks because I really like the way that it had looked on my skin and I am not really one for blending um, foundations you know I, just, I don't feel like it I guess I probably could have um, but I my life is pretty much on the go and I don't have time for that so <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get right into this. Um, we're going to dab this on the face and then we're going to use a beauty blender. Whew, it's a very liquidy. Um, use a beauty blender to uh, blend it in. I don't know if it's supposed to be this liquidy, but it's like, like when a product gets too hot and it's not supposed to be liquid, but it is, 
that's what it feels like coming out of the tube. So, okay, I think that is plenty. Yep, yep. All right, <laughs> let's start. Oh, dropped it. God dang it. Okay. Let's start blending away. Oh, yeah. Too dark. Well, this might be actually a summer color for me. I actually do get pretty tan in the summertime um, within the first two or three tries, so... For being a skin tint, it sure is hard to blend in. Okay, so this is definitely light coverage. Um, obviously, you can see my mole here. You can see this right here. Um, so it definitely looks natural. Um, uh, on the side of the box, it says, it Blurring skin tint with sunscreen. It's a new generation of skin tint that instantly blurs and perfectly evens skin for a healthy, luminous finish. Um, I do say that it kind of blurs the pores right here. It definitely got a rid of a lot of my redness that I have in my cheeks. Um, I can see a little bit poking through on this side, but normally my cheeks are very flushed but I think it did a really nice job. As far as the color goes, it's a lot, it's not as dark as I thought it would be. I can definitely see this actually matching my skin tone in the summertime, so I'm um, kind of excited about that. It did nothing for around my nose area. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can definitely see the redness here. Um, definitely see all the pores that I have. So let's go and do another round just to see if it is buildable. Definitely have to get to used to how liquidy it is. Okay, so this is the second application. I definitely like it on the second application um you can tell that it took care of the redness and the pores more so around my nose on the second time around um i could this redness is completely gone and i just really like the way that that my face feels um it doesn't feel sticky which is nice so i'm actually going to move on i'm going to finish my eyebrows um my blush and all that goodness and i will be right back Okay, so I finished my makeup. Um, I, I just wanted to say that um, I won this from It's Always Summer. She is such a doll. I just did a mermaid collab with her. Um, and at the end, she kind of did a drawing for um, two prizes. I was a lucky winner of one of those prizes. So my heart was just like beating so fast because that was such a sweet thing to do she did not have to do that because doing the collab was just fun and amazing all in itself i really love her she's just super super sweet but anyways um one of the prizes was the naked tutorials um set that she had came out with it was the highlighter which is this bad boy right here and then three of her lipsticks which i have to say i am loving um <laughs> I did put this on tonight so I just took my little highlighter brush and I did I didn't go in it I just kind of like dabbed it and I went to kind of like put it on and oh my god I was not prepared for the highlight I just wasn't it was like boom in your face I literally had to like take some um, some more of the foundation and kind of tone it down some because it was just crazy in your face. Can you see that? That is with it toned down. Um, but it's really pretty. So I really, <laughs> I really, really like this. And I just want to say thanks to Summer. Um, I'll have her channel listed down below if you guys want to go ahead and check her out. Um, but thank you so much for this. This is amazing. Like, 
I wanted to try it and I'm just so, so thankful I was able to because boy, that is a highlight. Woo. All right, <laughs> back to Sephora Play. So what do we have left? We have the lip gloss um, from Buxom Left. This is, like I said, in the color Celeste. kind of has like a a coffee smell like a latte smell to it and I'm not really a coffee drinker but for a coffee drinker I think they would really enjoy the smell okay so there's no really color to it I say it's kind of really just like a, a shimmer lip gloss I think this would look really really pretty in the summer um, so I like that they kind of have the light skin tint and the lip gloss in this month's bag just because of the fact that it is more geared towards like summertime, which obviously is coming up. So that's really pretty. I like that. All right, let's do a quick recap. So we got um, wrinkle recovery peels. We got the HD Skin Tint. I got the Purity Moisturizer. We got the Kales Line Reducing Concentrate. Uh, we got the Buxom Lip Gloss. And I just realized I do not have a perfume sample. So I'm guessing they forgot to put it in the bag. Awesome. All right, regardless, um, not sure if I'm going to be using these because like it said, it does take 14 days to see results and I only have two treatments here. Um, maybe if I can get a couple more um, from like samples and do the 14 day trial, then I will test it out. Uh, the moisturizer, I really enjoyed. It made my skin feel really nice. Philosophy is actually more of a, an affordable brand versus some of the moisturizers out there. So I definitely will be using that some more. Um, I will have to try this at another time uh, and see how I like that. The skin tint, I actually really do like it. It makes my skin look fresh and fun. Uh, it's definitely natural looking, definitely a light coverage. This is not a medium to full coverage foundation here. This is just a skin tint and it does have the SPF in it, um, which I really like. The color is definitely going to be geared towards my summertime color. I do like the way that this feels and looks on the skin. And like I said, all my redness is definitely gone. The redness on my cheeks, the redness and pores around my nose, they're gone. So that is an A plus for me. Um, this lip gloss, like I said, I love Buxom. I use their lip glosses like all the time. I really like this shimmer. It's super pretty. It is really geared towards summer. I think it's going to be gorgeous out in the sun, kind of glistening. It has that light tinglingness to it um, on the lips, but I like the way that that feels. It's not overpowering, does not hurt at all. Um, just kind of like a cooling, tingling feeling. Um, also, like I said, if you are a coffee drinker, it smells like a latte. <laughs> So that is it for this month's unboxing. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.